Hi guys and girls on YouTube. In this video we're going to be taking a look back at my early years as a television engineer. Um, now back in the 1980s um, test equipment for TV repairs was horrendously expensive and things were that expensive in them days I had to build my own test equipment. Now here's the um, CRT tester and reactivator that I built in 1984 and um, over the years as different tubes became available I actually made um, different bases to go on it um, now I can't remember what this base is for anymore but it's dated 1987 um, I've, I've got a funny feeling it might have been for a Grundig TV um, because um, a lot of TVs you needed um, a different base for every CRT so uh, back to the tester um, I can't find all the wires as well there's some wires missing here but you get the idea the wires plug in there the base plugs in um, and then you can test the tube um, so what we'll do is we'll turn it round we'll have a look at the back um, now in case you're wondering why I've got 6 volt and 12 volt um, on some CRTs um, if the emission was very low you couldn't reactivate it unless you overrun the heat so that's why it's got um, a 12 volt setting on uh, but yeah, there you go. We'll uh, we'll stop the camera. We'll have a quick look at the back of it, and then we'll take the lid off because um, it's a long time since I've seen in the back of here. Right, so here's the back view. Um, if we look at the date on the back, um, it was actually completed on the twenty seventh of the eighth, nineteen eighty four, which is about thirty seven years ago. Um, and that's a sticker from my old shop. We, we I actually had a, a partnership with two other people, um, but I was the uh, I was the engineer, and the other people just did the uh, uh, the collections and deliveries and the paperwork and billing and things. So um, hmm, painted in blue hammer, right? And turn it upside down. You can see it was just a silver instrument case. Over the years, it's lost a foot. Um, so yeah, so let's um, let's get the lid off and have a, a quick look inside because this is going to be a trip down memory lane as, as well for me. Well guys, I've got to say this is a real trip down memory lane for me. Um, looking in this after 37 years, uh, I actually remember building this and it took me four days to build it because I obviously had to drill all the case out and file it and paint it put the stickers on, I had to etch the circuit boards um, so where, there we go, that's the that's the back view and then I'll just lift the camera up and we'll turn it round That's the side view. And that's looking in from the back. Yeah, as you can see, there's quite a lot of wiring. And um, the thing about this is it all worked first time. I actually use this. Um, for many many years um, until I'd saved up enough money to buy a professional one let's just do an overhead shot so there you go guys that's just one of the many things I made um, in my early career as a TV engineer. Yeah, what a trip down memory lane looking at that. The good old days when things could be repaired. Alright guys, thanks for watching my video. And uh, subscribe to my channel. I've got some more videos coming. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.